patient's Donnie, and she's going to tell you a little bit about her experience working with us here in the office. So I'll let her take it from here. So tell, tell us a little bit about your history and what was going on with you so that people understand, you know, what we help people with here. Okay. So in 2015, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and ended up going through um, double mastectomy, radiation, and chemo, and ended up with the neuropathy in my feet um, and other issues. Um, kind of just lived with it. I did acupuncture. I did vitamins. I um, tried a few other exercises and nothing seemed to help. So I just kind of figured that's the way it was going to be. Um, I still was able to function, so not total numbness and, and that, but um, just kind of gave up. And then I saw the ad and I thought, you know, it's worth a try to see if there's something else that can be done because yeah. everything else wasn't helping. So. Right. And that I think part of this why I wanted to do an interview with you is because we have a lot of inquiries about post chemo radiation patients and you know they've been told that there's nothing that they can do to in order to get help and so i think a lot of people they're told like oh maybe light therapy will help or maybe stem will help or maybe supplements will help and they try maybe to pick one of those but they don't necessarily get the right recipe as i call it in order to help with them and so trying those things it was that you just didn't have the right recipe in order to get you better right, right. the whole combo of everything the nutrition stuff and the therapies I mm -hmm. think. yeah and so everybody's a little bit different so when we're treating people in the office it's we have the exam and then we like to do some extra diagnostic to see what exactly is going on so what was your experience with the exam? Did you feel like it helped answer a lot of your questions when it came to what was going on with you? Yeah, I did. It was really interesting just to see the way that you do the exam things with the tuning fork and the mm -hmm. needle prick and all that kind of stuff. It just stuff that I had no idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you've been with us for six months now, somewhere yeah, in there? Yeah, somewhere around there. And so kind of tell us what you've noticed has been different since you've been going through our, our protocol and treatment. I have definitely noticed um, progress in my feet, like in my toes and stuff like that. Just the feeling and stuff is better. And, mm -hmm. um, and my hands, we've been working on my hands mm -hmm. and stuff and that's gone from constant pain in both hands mm -hmm. um, when I started here it was just a constant pain that if I didn't take ibuprofen or something it was just always hurting mm -hmm. and now it's gotten so much better where it's just like a kind of barely mm -hmm. there or if I overwork it but um, right I can sleep and yeah, which so is real not, important. Yeah, right? yeah. And then, um, so with this, do you feel like you have a long-term solution, kind of like how we've talked through and when everything? Because we're a little bit more intense up front, but now, because I think that that's a big question that a lot of people have, is will this come back? And so do you feel like we've provided you a good solution to help maintain that so yeah. that it doesn't regress? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you said, too, it could take up to a year, so mm -hmm. it's definitely progressed. Mm -hmm. to show hope which is right what I wanted <laughs> right so we're kind of only halfway through and you're you're doing really well you know and I always try to under promise and over deliver and I right. think proper expectations are something that a lot of people just need and they need to know that it's not always a quick fix and we do have some really good cases where they get better faster but it's understanding that sometimes this can take, you know, nine, 12, 18 months in order to reverse. Did that help you going through the program? Yeah, and then especially, I mean, since I've had this issue since 2016, that mm -hmm. I've just kind of lived with it. So mm -hmm. I didn't really think there was ever gonna be any progress. Mm -hmm. It was just probably gonna get worse and worse as things went on. So. Yeah, for sure. And so for anybody who's, you know, went through chemotherapy that's struggling with neuropathy, what advice would you have for them if you were, you know, you're back in 2016 talking to your old self, what would you say? I wish I would have known about this earlier from mm -hmm. like the beginning of, of mm -hmm. you know, chemo, finishing chemo and stuff like that, just to not have it sit. Yeah. So tell people like there, there is hope, there is something that you can do and 
it's just kind of treating the individual rather than just you know saying that there's like a one size fits all for right. everybody definitely. that comes in. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. definitely helped. Well, awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to share? Uh, I just think it's you know worth a try for sure, and that I had gotten to the point where I. I didn't know if there was anything else, and I just figured, what the heck, you know, it's yeah, it's definitely worth a try, and Perfect. be hopeful, and I'm happy. Yeah, good. Well, thank you so much for sharing, and uh, if anybody has any questions, you can reach out to us, comment below this video. Our office number is 941-263-8161. Just call us, and we're more than happy to help bring you in, or if you want a virtual consult, we can always do that as well. And thank you so much for sharing your story. And uh, thanks yeah. for all your help. Yeah, we'll see you all next time. Bye.